In today's segment of the CAD Geek blog post, we're going to take a look at uh, Autodesk Mechanical and the 2D hide situation. So, what I'm going to do here is actually go ahead and uh, just create a, uh, a rectangle in here and then um, create a hide situation. So what this allows us to do is uh, select a boundary and uh, as you can see mechanical will automatically uh, kind of determine the uh, objects that might be behind there. So a couple of things I wanted to point out in here is um, under your settings um, keep a, uh, an, a good uh, idea is to check out the uh, background entities and the foreground entities. So there are defaults here. If you have a lot of different lines, um, they won't show up or prompt you for a warning. Uh, in this case, there are a lot of lines, but um, this is a block, so it's uh, only treated as one item, which is good. So if I go ahead and create that um, hidden situation, you can see that there. So the nice thing about this is if I go ahead and alter this, um, I can go ahead and make some changes and you can see it will graphically change um, the conveyor which I had uh, changed there but um, it doesn't necessarily include new items if I drag those over um, so it's pretty easy to um, take care of that if I actually just go ahead and um, edit that hide situation um, I could go ahead and um, pre-select or go ahead and select some new objects from here um, create different levels if I wanted to um, but one of the nice things that you can do is uh, if you actually um, look on some of these is you can actually go ahead and use um, a different situation or create different situations or look where you can um, maybe auto select these um, so in level two um, if I wanted to I can go ahead and auto select and it'll take any of these um, objects you know that are um, crossing just like it did for the first conveyor and go ahead and select those objects so it really um, speeds up the process of having to go through and maybe select all these different multiple objects that you would um, like to uh, include in your hide situation. Then what you could do is easily go through in some of these and um, highlight the ones. Uh, it gives you a nice graphical highlighting. Um, and then you can maybe move these um, either up or bring forward or bring back so I could remove that from the uh, hide situation. And then I could maybe some free objects such as this. Um, if this was above it, I could also move that up. Um, and then if I the, you know, wanted to keep some in there, I can go ahead and do that. So just some quick things um, to look for in the uh, hide situations. And one of the biggest things that I tell customers um, just using plain AutoCAD, if you use the hide situation, uh, you know, go ahead. It's uh, so much better just to use the mechanical product um, just for the being able to update things like this um, automatically by uh, you know, dragging your boundaries, just saving you uh, tons of time over what it would if you were doing um, trimming, extending, uh, changing line types as you would in plain Auto AutoCAD. So hope that helps, and I hope I filled in for Gemini Jim Fish Fry Fanjoy. Have a good night, everyone.